It's one o'clock right on the dot. I better blow the candles out. The girls will all be waiting in the lights. You're listening to the Bell Tower Hour. He said, You're not going to like this. You're not going to like this. Why buy the cow and you can have the milk? What you learn with your PhD I said, I don't think you get it I don't think you get it I don't want to hear about how times have changed I just want to know what's going on in my brain So doctor, tell me What am I doing here? So doctor, tell me What are you It's 1.09 p.m. This is the Bell Tower Hour. Lucy Stone, I hope you're listening. This is Dale. I'm alone right now. Tara is fixing one situation, but she will be back, and we will all talk together and have a good time. And I'm really excited that everybody is listening right now because we have a pretty mad decent show coming up for you. That song you just heard was by the band Lady Parts. The song was Doctor. Um, I liked it. And coming up, I'm going to do an album review of uh, local electronic artist QQQ. He's been featured on The Key by XPN, and I checked it out, and I liked it. So I contacted him. He's all about it. I'm going to do his review. Um, in the studio today, amazing stuff. Actually, right now, you can even speak. Major. Hello, hello. Major Van Winkle, local rapper, local slayer. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk to him. And I've known him for a while, so it's going to get really intimate. Um, it's going to get hot and steamy, so stay tuned. <laughs> exactly. And then Tara, when she gets back, she's going to talk about uh, the venue of the week. And then um, we're going to talk about some shows coming up. And we're going to talk about Magda. And we've we just got a lot going on. So I, I want to play a song right now. And that song is called Wired by the band Andorra. They are local. They rock. That was my phone. I don't know if that came through, but let's listen.
Because I am redundant
listening to the Bell Tower Hour. It's 1.17 p.m. This is the Bell Tower Hour. Welcome. Tara's back. (laughs) I'm back. (laughs) Tara's back. Lucy Stone. I hope you're listening. (laughs) Um, Okay, so that song, you just heard your two songs. Uh, What you just heard was Pony Up by Marietta. A Bell Tower favorite. (laughs) Bell Tower favorite. Tara favorite. Yeah. And before that, uh, we played uh, Doctor. By Lady Parts. Yeah, by Lady Parts. (laughs) Yeah, actually, no, we didn't. We uh, yeah, we played Doctor. Yeah, sure. we did. Okay. <laughs> um, so before I get into my album review of "Welcome Home" by QQQ, uh, electronic artist that I'm really digging right now, I want to go over some music news. Dun, dun, dun. So recently, um, unfortunately, Fife Dog from Tribe Called Quest passed away. Everyone was talking about it. And it's been a couple of days at this point. Um, he had di- diabetic issues, um, I read. Um, and he passed away at the age of 46, which too is young. pretty young. Yeah, too young. Um, so everyone's been talking about that. I've been playing Tribe every day pretty much since then. Um, I've been kicking it. And uh, that's, that's one half of music news. And the second thing that for people that are fans of music in Philly is coming up May 1st. That's in about a month. we got some time, but... The Kula United Yoga and Arts Festival. Ooh. This is located at Drexel Park. This will be Sunday, May 1st, 1 p.m. This is a yoga and arts festival where they're going to have bands come and they're going to score a couple of yoga classes. Oh, that's um, awesome. That's awesome. I, th- I feel like I've heard of that. So I think, so. It's, I think it's free. Um, there might be some charge. But right now, there's no pricing available. But you come, you get some classes. They're led by some professional yoga instructors. There's art installations, and we're going to have musical acts. So that's May 1st. I'll mention that when it's coming up. But that's pretty cool for music fans in Philly. Um, so, and yoga fans. And yoga fans. But yeah, it's really cool how they're mixing them both, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Um, and actually, I went to grade school with the person who's doing that. So Other music news. Um, the Lord of the Rings Tower, Two Towers. Two towers. Yes, the symphony is doing that. So that's going to be cool to see. Right. So I'm going to that. I don't know when that is. I'll double check. Is that at the man? Um, I think... I think so, yeah. Well, well that me is music news. Yeah. Okay, so um, I want to get to an album review right now. I'll do this. Uh, the artist in question is QQQ. That's all caps, no spaces, three letters. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make that clear. And he is really cool. His album, Welcome Home, I bought it the other day. I was checking it out. He got mentioned on XPN The Key, and that's where I heard of him. And I really wanted to see what he was about. He reminds me of Aphex Twin. And he reminds me of a little bit of Prefuse 73 and Warped Records sound. It's really per- percussive. It's really glitchy. Um, he's got this This album has about five songs. Clocks in s- south of 40 minutes, but it's probably around 30. And... I really enjoyed it. Um, the songs I'm going to play for you today, one of them I can't even mention on the radio, to be honest with you. That is, Thank You So Bleeping Much. I'm going to play We can that. use our imagination. Yeah, yeah. it's a... Uh, it's a it, I, I really like it. And um, he's actually talking to me right now. He might come into the studio, but um, Welcome Home by QQQ, electronic artist. He's going to play a show April 9th at Goldilocks Gallery. Actually, that's where I'm going to host an event at some point. That's crazy. <laughs> and um, Dale's mind is blowing right now. <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, Goldilocks Gallery, April 9th. Uh, the Pharmacy, April 21st. QQQ. His new album is Welcome Home. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Uh, the song I'm going to play for you guys right now is called Computer Time by QQQ. Let's do it. If you are, at first, lonely, be patient. If you've not been alone much, or if when you were, you weren't okay with it, then just wait. You'll find it's fine to be alone once you're ready to be in. Right!
It's 1.24 p.m. This is the Bell Tower Hour. I hope you have lived 1,000 lives so far. That song you just heard. That's you need a catch heard. line. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. That's um, a great catch line. Thank you, Major. Um, so that song you just heard was Computer Time by QQQ. Um, I really do like this album. I'm going to play another song for you guys, but first... You guys got to check out the band camp. I want you to look at it right now. That's the artwork. Oh, that's awesome. It's really cartoony. It's almost kind of like, it's yeah. almost like Picasso-y in like an ugly way. Uh, like a 90s. Yeah. 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 Stimpy 90s cartoon. Yeah. Right. And uh, there was, uh, I said earlier there was five tracks, there's like six tracks off, off this. And, uh, but it's really cool. You can buy it right now for $4 on Bandcamp. Uh, the title is Welcome Home, QQQ. And he's got, Two shows coming up right now. Goldilocks Gallery, April 9th. The Pharmacy, April 21st. I definitely say check him out. And also, he's a really cool guy. I've been talking to him, and I'm hoping to get him in for the show, but also uh, an art gallery that I'm trying to put together. And I'll teach you, I'll, uh, I'll have you guys you know, update yeah. on that because we're going to have music there, and Major Hello. is going to be featured <laughs> yeah. uh, on that. So oh, that's awesome. You. I didn't know that. Cool. Yeah, actually, that's in a month. I mean, I'll, uh, I'll, t uh, you know, I'll tell you guys as that goes along, but... I want to play one more from QQQ, um, his new album, Welcome Home. The song is Thank You So Bleeping Much. And that bleep starts with an F, but I can't say it, so... you never see I'm 19 living clearer than some clarity my clairvoyance telling me we all just share a dream I share it lucid therapeutic when I care to be I'ma balance out my fears on top this broken beam honestly my conscience keeps my chakras up on Socrates I can see this obvious disguise for mediocrity laughing my whole life away but I feel some type of way tighten up that rope and test the scope and both our rifles race focus on my coldness but I fire, melt your ice away License plate, P to the A, 2-1 to the 5 too real for the game Built for the pain, new fields of the brain I believe that faith is all I need 
keep it in motion, I could be mistaken I feel like chain smoking, I don't need conversation I swear my brain's broken, but my mind's elevated I swear if life's what you make it I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling I wanna die young and famous The day I leave, I want you all to know what my fucking name is, I'm yelling I'm Yoko Ono to the Beatles, feeling super solo dolo But I'll never leave my people, I've seen demons, I've seen angels I let strangers hit my phone up, every single clothing piece I own Is drenched in marijuana, I'm a stone cold, hot-blooded mammal though Casually rattling my snake to feed your camel toe I suppose that I've manifested all my hopes and goals Hold the phone, got the holy ghost on top my totem pole Toe to toe, flip the cleat, what those battles fought without no defeat No shallow ones, they act oh so deep And they read my lines and they quote my tweets And they notice me for just who I is Living young and I'm dying rich Swimming with those killer sharks Connecting hearts with these giant fish like this Keep it in motion, I could be mistaken I feel like chain smoking, I don't need conversation I swear my brain's broken, but my mind's elevated I swear if life's what you make it I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling I wanna die young and famous The day I leave, I want you all to know what my fucking name is, I'm yelling I'm Charles Darwin in the Garden of Eden I'll drop the apple from Adam to Newton All in an evening I fiend for love on the rocks My soul don't know how to stop I'm just a dove who's lost his course And flown himself out the flock I'm thinking outside the box But I still feel like I'm in one I got a serpent on my pen I write my words all with venom I'm independently here Denim jeans like I'm Bruce Springsteen I believe in the naive wisdom of youth Yelling Keep it in motion I could be mistaken I feel like chain smoking, I don't need conversation I swear my brain's broken, but my mind's elevated I swear if life's what you make it I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling uh, I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling uh, I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling I wanna die young and famous The day I leave, I want you all to know what my f name is, I'm yelling Keep it in motion, I could be mistaken I feel like chain smoking, I don't need conversation I swear my brain's broken, but my mind's elevated I swear if life's what you make it I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling I wanna die young and famous, I'm yelling I wanna die young and famous The day I leave, I want you all to know what my f***ing name is I'm yelling It's 1.32pm This is the Bell Tower Hour Lucy Stone Okay, um, that song you just heard Was Young and Famous The Clean Version By Major Van Winkle Woo! And right now with us in the studio He's been talking in Chit Chat You know he's been here, but <laughs> Major Hello, hey, thanks Major. for coming in Woo. Thank you guys for having me now, um, when did Young and Famous come out? That came off your EP? Young and Famous, yeah. Young and Famous was off my first EP entitled Push Pushin', which you can get on YouTube and Bandcamp and iTunes and all that good Are stuff. They? <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure. There actually was a torrent of it, so yeah, it exists. Um, so that was that was two years ago? About? Yeah, that was, that was two summers ago. I worked at uh, Milk Boy Studio, which is a great studio in Philadelphia. Nice. That's our venue of the week yeah, today, so that's awesome. Oh, no that way, yeah. That, yeah. I worked with uh, a great engineer by the name of Joe Logic. He helped me produce the whole thing. It was a wonderful experience. Hey. Yeah, I felt like a real human being <laughs> rather than just a bedroom artist, which I, I'm both, so yeah. yeah bedroom artist. <laughs> is that, a, this, that should be the new album. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a phrase that's been going around, but it really makes sense because, yeah. yeah. That is true. All right, so since then, uh, I mean, we talk a lot. Um, you had a video get produced that, you know, got a lot of views. It was well produced. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about that. I actually worked with, I think he's a Temple native, Dan Brennan. Hey. Yeah, he's a filmmaker from around these parts, and I worked with a team in uh, New York City. I, I wish I could plug them better. I don't know their company name, but, yeah, we filmed on a real one. I would like to call a movie camera, and there was a whole dolly set up, and there was an actress, and it was the first time I ever had people really working for me, like a makeup department and stuff. <laughs> it was, I don't know, that was that was a weird experience, but the video turned out great. It was for a it love song. Uh, that song is, did you say, Love in a Loop? Yeah, Love in a Loop is the title. It's about, I don't know, going around in patterns and circles when you're in a relationship. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like an R&B, think Robin Thicke, but uh, less rapey. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, that's great. And uh, actually, I heard a funny story about that. Dan uh, Brennan, who you just mentioned, told me about it, that 
you were going to have uh, a male actor. Yeah. You know, do his role, but he didn't show up or yeah, whatever. Well, the thing was, they hired this really like good-looking European dude to like be in the video, so I would be kind of like the uh, the Greek chorus in the background to this story that was being played. But he overslept that day, and the only reason I wanted an actor is because I'm lazy and I didn't want to do everything. I thought I could just chill and watch, watch someone, <laughs> yeah, watch someone do my song for me. But I think it was a happy accident because then I ended up being the actor in the video, and I got to put on the tux and act a little bit, which yeah. I also, I mean, I love doing that because it's like basically playing pretend like when you're a little kid. To so it's your own song. Too. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It was a little bit pretentious, but it was also, I think, it worked out for the better. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, so. That's your old stuff. Uh, Love in a Loop. You can check that on YouTube. Produced really well, actually. Yeah, Looks that was a really, really cool video. Really good I video, too. Thank you. Thank um, you. And a good song. Yeah. Um, thank you. But of right course. now, <laughs> we got some new stuff coming up with you. Yeah. Um, we've been talking. Why don't you tell me what's what's on your mind? What's going on with um, MVW? Yeah, MVW right now, as I'm just, I don't know if there's going to be another project coming out. I'm doing a couple live shows, but the thing I want to get out there is just I want to put out more content visually. And I kind of I kind of want to do quality and quantity and kind of balance them out. Uh, so I have a new video dropping soon. It's the song you're going to play. I've been producing my own stuff, and I have, I don't know, I'm like holding on to a lot, and I just want to release it all, but I'm doing my own stuff independently now on the video side. So there should be more coming uh, next month after these live shows get done. All right, Major Van Winkle. Right. He's got, we're going to come back talk to you. Um, we got two more songs to play, but right now I'm going to play two and five. Okay, yeah, this one is a sneak peek of a song that is not out yet. Um, it's a real Philly-based song. If you live here, you should get all the references. It's a banger. I think you'd enjoy it. It's a banger, it. too. You heard it first here on Bell Tower. Bell so. Tower, premiere of 215 by Major Van Winkle. We're going to come back and talk to him, but jam out to this right now. Well, I've been chewed up and spit out, but I'm probably lubing my dick up and shove it right in your bitch mouth. I'm probably moving through Philadelphia, Delaware, down the fish town, taking a step right through Bella Vista, bitch, guess where I live now? I'm probably riding through the 215. 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 Most common sense out of Philly since t pain That's Thomas Paine, not a thank you to D-Bay More than just some cheese steaks in a Rocky movie I'm the major of the city, bitch, so stop and salute me I'm probably looting the stores if I spawn schemes to the gold Though a mission roll if it burst from the bowl I'ma die of happiness first I be finna go to Dallas, get preserved and wipe the smirk off of Jerry Jones Holding my feelings back, Philadelphia been a threat You can bank on that, in fact it's proud to be citizens Since Veterans Stadium, I've been playing the ball They say that me got the air but I ain't taking a loss because Well, I've been chewed up and spit out But I'm probably moving my dick up and shove it right in your bitch mouth I'm probably moving through Philadelphia Delaware down the fish town Taking a step right through Bella Vista Bitch, guess where I live now? I'm probably riding through the 215 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 Yeah, everybody acting like they know this town. Why? Cause you pranced around that written house while I was gambling, huffing some small fucking Sigma sound. I was on the corner at like Third and Gerard. 15 years old, getting sold a cigar. When the only ever time that I could enter a bar was on the 1st of January once the mummers had marched. I'm yelling, whoa, you better know that I've been calling this my home since Scotty Roll. And Larry Bowen and Jim told me this ain't no thing. But these new teeth brought street bullies and told you punks out of pro. See, low, see, I see that you do not understand. Better run like Randall Cunningham, bitch, I'm a Renaissance man, better take the Benjamin Franklin, but I write with William and Pan. And the words I write so tough, you can break the liberty bell. Yeah, I've been here all my life. Now, whether that's wrong or it's right, it's still 215 till I die. It's still 215 till I die. Oh, see, I'm combing through the city streets. I feel like Bon Jovi because my soul just needs a bigger breath. Another play at, I'm just hoping you can feel the beat and talk that rich doobie up and smoke it with some Dallas Green. Roll a Dr. J up. The critic silence and I'm Allen Iverson up in his prime and it's a layup. Living up under a prayer. The white wood chamberlain, I might be too dangerous. You better come prepared. Paying up my dues. I want the keys to the city. I want to jam with the roots and I want to meet Lil Dicky. I'll probably be like me too. I want to feature with Nikki. I'll show some brotherly love and rig on 
some peace to the city, I'm talking P H I double L Y. For my city, I would probably walk through hellfire. Down to Ellsworth to the last L stop, it's Philadelphia. If you ain't realize, it's 215 till I die, baby. 21215 till I die. Philadelphia. 215 till I die, baby. 21215 till I die. Philadelphia. It's 1.29 p.m. Uh, 1.39 p.m. <laughs> Read that one wrong. And now it's 1.40, so we're all messed up. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Time. Yeah, that, that song we just played was 2 and 5 by Major Van Winkle. He's still with us, with us in the studio. Yes, Thanks, Major. Um, that song is the banger. That's definitely <laughs> happening. There's a lot of good references. Um, I like in that. So, um, you made that a week ago, right? Yeah, <laughs> about artist. a week ago. About a week bed? ago. Yeah. Oh, that's that's pretty good. And we're gonna play one more too. But um, first, I want to talk about the couple of things you got coming up. Like you got a, you got a show. At yeah, I got a I got a show. I'm doing a show with a bunch of local artists, uh, including Def Bananas and a local battle rap legend, Roan. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him. Yeah. He's a white guy out of Penn State who's been battle rapping since we were in diapers. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm playing it at Bourbon and Branch next Thursday, March 31st, with a group of people, uh, including some DJs and stuff. It's gonna be a great night. Hey. Tickets are still available on Ticketfly. Okay. It's gonna be a great show. <laughs> I'll get it. Right, so everyone check out. Major. Yeah, Bourbon and Branch is a cool place. It's a restaurant slash kind of yeah, like low key cool. concert hall. It's really nice. Yeah, and uh, the sound's actually pretty decent there too. So it should be good for anybody that wants to go check that out. Uh, rap lovers, hip hop lovers, slay lovers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And uh, we're going to play one more from Major. Uh, this is a new track, and you have a video for this. Yeah, this right? is a video I shot uh, myself. I actually I got to shoot it at an abandoned church that they now just knocked down on Gerard Avenue. Oh, so it was, heard about that. Yeah, it was about a week after I did it, so I thought yeah, it was meant to be that I got to shoot there. <laughs> I also shot at St. Uh, Mary's Church on Broad Street, and this is, yeah, it's a song called Something I Forgot. Uh, it, what does that mean? Okay, well, I, the day before I released it, I listened to that Little Wayne song called Something You Forgot, and the song's about God, so I thought, you know, I'm going to be clever and do something I forgot. It's basically a song about, I don't know, I'm not a religious guy, but I have faith in, like, the universe and stuff, and so it's just questioning and, like, I don't know, being hey. open philosophically. Hey, that's what we're about. Yeah, here. don't don't be, I'm not being too sacrilegious. You might get offended, but whatever, I love you all. Yeah, no, God yeah. bless. Hey, it's, uh, you know, good, Fri good Friday was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Easter's coming up. Uh, something I forgot. Major Van Winkle. Thanks for coming to Mage, by yeah, the way. Thanks again. And remember, oh, it's your show, Bourbon and Branch. Yeah, March 31st. March 31st. All right, in this song, Something I Forgot. Here we go. believes in me and is he my absentee father or does he not want to be bothered by my problems and my hypocrisies if i could meet him in the flesh then i would ask him how's it feel to be in charge of all these foster children knowing that we all will disobey knowing that we're selfish when we pray knowing that we developed all the skills to make a heaven up out of a hell when we don't appreciate like half the things we made but how do you expect us to stay true and keep the faith when you don't never show your motherfucking face? Wait, like how come every culture's got a different person to you? Why is there not one permanent truth? What's the proof that you care? What's the proof that you're there? Please share with me that good or bad news. Cause do what I can take it. Fine, at least I think I can. But maybe faith is blind and I will never comprehend your full magnitude. But I know a thing or two. I know you wouldn't make our fate be unchangeable I know you wouldn't leave us down here in the dust without no one to trust I know you hear these words I'm trying to say to you And if you don't, well I'll still probably keep talking If there ain't no afterlife then I'ma buy a cheap coffin If there is a hell below then tell the devil ease off me Like, please, man I heard that Steve Hawkins says you don't exist at all And I ain't trying to go to scientists to make you sound small dog Cause all I want to talk all I want to answer is, and I'm done asking questions to these apathetic pastors. Going to church to repent for things I did. I was an accidental birth. I guess my whole life's a sin. But I begin to see the light every time I love. And if you're on a higher plane, let's say I'm climbing up. For now, I'm stuck down on the ground level. But I know you got forever, man, so fit me in your schedule. Because what I'm looking for is a one on one meeting. You know, to maybe find out life's meaning. And I know it's all ambiguous, but you ain't as elusive as you think you is. If it's all subjective, then I'm a true detective who's been dazed and confused from all the clues that I collected. I'm the fool's gold shining through this interstellar message. If it's all inside my mind and it's my life, I manifest it, but... but, but. 
Uh, since the day I was born, my baby bed might as well have been a crown of thorns in my crib. Might as well have been a cross in a house I lived in. Might as well have been a moss. I might as well wear a burka as a hoodie. Close my two eyes and open up my third eye. But looky, I might as well wear a yarmulke too. Yelling assalamu alaikum, I'm a prophet of the truth. We are one, but it's way more fun to sing. Separate gives us someone else to love besides ourselves. And the cards with them. We can't change them, but oh well Man, you never can tell this trip is such a strange one Cause we are one But it's way more fun to seem separate I'll never get to know Listening to Bell Tower Hour.
It is almost 1.50 p.m. This is the Bell Tower Hour. I'm having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Dale. And Sasha's back. We're happy to have her back. Hey, Hi. Sasha. Hi. <laughs> it's been a crazy day. And Major's still here. Yes. I'm, I'm still alive as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so that song you just heard was... Toe the Line by Chelsea Kills. Um, and the reason we played them is because they're actually going to be playing an upcoming show at Milk Boy, which is our venue of the week. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that. You got it. All right. So um, Milk Boy restaurant, bar, cafe, slash live music venue is located at 11th and Chestnut Street. Um, it opened its door back in 2011. It's founded by Tommy Joyner and Jamie Lokoff um, from Milk Boy Recruiting Studio and Bill Hansen, who is actually a big name in the food industry. He worked for like Continental, things like that. So, really cool. Um, they have a really cool upstairs music space um, known to hold a lot of Philly local bands as well as some nationally known artists. It's really cool that the venue um, has like a Philly triple time, which means like weekdays it's open as early as 7 a.m. and then it stays open all night for the late night music scene, which is pretty cool. Um, so before Milk Boy opened in 2011, there was Milk Boy Studio, which was founded over 20 years ago, and that's lo located at 7th and Willow Streets, which is right behind Electric Factory. So um, they have four studios there. And Studio G is Milk Boy Shake, which has audio posts for video sound design. Um, I think this is really cool. You guys should check out their process for adding sound effects and bringing the bass and acoustics up to give the video a more realistic feel. So check that out on the Milk Boy Shake website. Um, we have Milk Boy Studio. is also known for, like, The Roots, um, You Got Me, Dave Matthews, Falling Off the Roof, um, Kanye, Flashing Lights, and Miley Cyrus, F.U. I can say that right. Um, anyway, um, so they were known for recording that there. Um, they have some upcoming shows at Milk Boy. Um, today, actually tonight, um, we have Square Peg Round Hole, which we're going to play a song by them. We're playing Culturalist from that one. Um, we have With Moon Bounce and Sunstep for that show. Then this is a release show for the Square Peg Round Hole for their new EP, Juniper. Um, on March 30th, we have Hunts... Huntsman Hall Mafia and the Polar Vortex, which is a free show, so you guys should check that out. We have Skinny Lister, Legendary Sh Shack Shakers, Wesley Arms, Harmar Superstar, Repeat Repeat, and the Chelsea Kills on the 21st. Um, 422 through 424, so that's next month. There's the WXPN Key Fest there, too. So it's $25 for a three-day pass. You guys should check that out as well. So, Major, you worked with Milk yeah. Boy, so you can tell us a little bit of first-hand things. Uh, yeah, they're a wonderful group of people over there. There's, like, a whole collection of engineers and producers. They all work collaboratively to build, like, one song. Like, one guy will do drums, one guy will do guitar riffs, and it all comes, like, full circle, and then they give it out to artists like the people you mentioned. But, I don't know, the environment there is very, it's very calm and welcoming. It's almost like a lounge. Every room is very dimly lit, and there's rugs and sofas <laughs> and old arcade games everywhere. It's it's a very welcoming atmosphere. I remember working there on my EP, and I'm out watching whatever was on TV in this beautiful living room that looked like it was straight out of MTV Cribs, <laughs> and this fly older woman comes down, and we start talking about what's on the uh, TV, and we start getting into a, a debate about artsy movies, and I like Kubrick, and she doesn't, and it's a great conversation, and then she walks away, and my engineer, I talked to my engineer, I said, who was that? He goes, that was Jill Scott. Oh, I went, no God. way, it was Jill Scott, and I went and like I hugged her and stuff, but <laughs> that's the kind of environment's there. Everyone's just, all the artists are kind of just in one place mingling and it doesn't feel real cut off from each other so I don't know it's a great place to work uh, if you have the money and you have the talent go there man it's the best hey. right so that's Milk Boy definitely check out their venue which is located 11th and Chestnut and then you worked at the studio which is also really cool yeah. so if you guys are artists out there and you got the money like you said mm -hmm. go to Milk Boy Recording Studios I know there's a lot of Temple students that um, work through there like um, Rugs, even who we played last right. week he interns there um so it's a place where people learn and even um, you know get to create stuff too. So that's a pretty cool thing in Philly. Mm -hmm. Check Definitely it out. Definitely check it out. And there's that free show on the 30th. So if you guys don't want to pay a lot of money, it's the 30th. Freebie. Yes. Um, so we're going to play um, a song by Square Peg Round Hole. We're going to play Culturalist. And then we're going to come back and talk about the Magda Show on the all right. 30th. All right, here we go.
one fifty nine p.m. Our show is almost over, but before we do that, our dear friend Sasha is here to talk about Magda Meringue, our Bell Tower homies. So, yes. Sasha, please tell me some more about that. All right, so next Wednesday, March 30th, also at Bourbon and Branch, come out, bring your whole family. <laughs> Pets are invited. Um, Magda Meringue, Momonita, Lady Parts, and Caroline Thorne. Uh, the doors are at 10. The doors are not at 10. Doors the doors are, are at 7. Mm -hmm. It costs ten dollars, <laughs> close. But um, seven dollars in advance if you want to get them on Ticketfly. Uh, there's tickets still available, and um, yeah, it'll be a rocking evening. Yeah. Also, we just got confirmed Magda is coming in on April 9th, so that's gonna be cool. Yeah, we're also, gonna we're gonna talk about the new EP, Fuzzy Logic. So, Magda show. Um, the thirtieth and then thirty first. Go to see the same place, Bourbon and Branch. Yes, ma'am. Um, all right, well, that's Magda at the end. That's the end of our show. All right, uh, it's 2 p.m. We have to actually get out of here. <laughs> We're getting kicked out right now. So. We're literally, literally going to have There's to no leave. But uh, right now, we'll play a Magda song. And just want to say thank you to Major again for coming on the show. We really. Yeah, I love like, you guys. We can yeah. actually have this show up on YouTube now. So yeah, I'm archived. I'm in the, <laughs> I'm in the system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Major, Major came in uh, around October, I think, and the, the show didn't record. So, yeah, so and it was, the, it was the best show yeah, ever. We, we actually, really I forgot to do the freestyle, but we'll do it freestyle. Whatever. You come in again. Yeah. yeah. You know, we'll do that later. But uh, right now, we're going to hear Sherry Snifter yes. by Magda Meringue. Yeah. And then, don't, don't leave. We're going to leave, but don't you leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Son of Wolfman by Dragon King. We're going to play that too. Dragon King actually just recently. Uh, Broke up in a way, they're or they're on hiatus, but they're really cool Philly band. Lucy Stone is in this band, so this is gonna be the first time Lucy Stone <laughs> is my single. dream, my dream <laughs> is single. Okay, so let's listen to Sherry Sniffer by Magna. We'll go into Dragon King, and we'll see you guys next week. All right, Peace. thanks again, Major. Yep. Woo. I fell under the rug, and I'm reminded of where he's
Meow, 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 meow.